Hi, I'm Hank Patterson, Cub Scout dropout, and world-renowned fly fishing expert and guide. The Outdoor Misadventures of Hank Patterson. High school graduate, podcast host, fly fisher, derp, and your outdoor guy. The great outdoors are in danger. Our rivers, lakes, streams, mountains, campsites, our favorite fishing holes are facing unprecedented threats. Pollution, climate change, condominium developments, litter bug infestations, and well-organized rattlesnakes wage war on the great outdoors and us outdoor people every single day. It's pretty scary stuff, but not nearly as frightening as the threat I'm here to warn you about today. Over the past seven months, I've done like 45 or 46 minutes worth of research, and I've compiled almost two paragraphs of data, or da data, data. And I've discovered there's a new number one threat to the great outdoors. Indoor people going outdoors. Human beings whose natural habitat is the in of doors are going out of doors. The some bitches are going outside. We've all seen them putting their children on the back of a 2,000 pound bison in Yellowstone like it's a pony ride at the county fair, walking around in the campground with a golf shirt tucked into a pair of slacks, running towards a grizzly bear to get a selfie that nobody's ever gonna give a shit about. Attempting to protect a cow elk from a bull elk during mating season, repeatedly jackknifing their new 47-foot trailer trying to back it into a campsite, repeatedly jackknifing their boat trying to get it into the lake, blaming their wife and children for repeatedly jackknifing their trailer and their boat, slowly approaching a pack of wolves with their hand out like they're going to meet the neighbor's new miniature toy poodle, keeping their Taco Bell leftovers inside their sleeping bag, inside their tent, in grizzly bear country, for safekeeping, applying bear spray like it's mosquito repellent. <laughs> Leaving a bunch of trash behind at their campsite like some outdoor butler's gonna come and clean up all their shit. Watching movies on a 57 inch flat screen TV inside their 200 foot air conditioned RV talking about how much they just love the great outdoors. Pooping next to their tent, next to where they peed on their tent the night before. And we've all heard them talking about, oh my God, is it always this cold in the wilderness? You guys, do you see how much dirt is under my fingernails? What's so great about deer? Uh, these roads would be a lot better if they paved them. I would not have come if I'd have known I had to poop outside. Oh my God, I wish I would have brought a jacket. Oh my God, why did I bring this jacket? Look at all those bears. Uh, is anybody else getting service? Cause I have like zero bars. Did you hear that bear? Did you hear that bear? You guys, I think there's a bear in that tree. Asking the park rangers, uh, hey, what time do they let the animals out in the morning? Hey, if we pay extra, can we pet the mooses? Asking their fishing guides, hey, how old is a rainbow before it becomes a steelhead? When are we gonna catch a fish? How many fish are we gonna catch? Is fishing always this boring? Take it from me. We are currently experiencing an indoorsy infestation the like we've never seen. You want proof? Look no further than the camp area and roadside warning signs that the government is forced to post to protect these jackasses. For example, the other day, I'm driving up to Glacier National Park, and they got a roadside sign. It's got a picture of a guy who's like falling off of a cliff. It's got a big red circle around it with a slash through it as if to say, hey, don't fall off a cliff. You see, we outdoor people, we know instinctually not to go chuck ourselves off of a cliff. We don't need a sign. They do. You know the number one cause of death in the Grand Canyon? Indoorsy people chucking themselves off a cliff. Number two, indoor people landing on outdoor people at the bottom of the cliff. So I'm in a campground outside of Yellowstone a couple of weeks back. They got a picture of a guy in a polo shirt trying to feed a ham sandwich to a bear. And it just says, uh, avoid being mauled by a grizzly bear. I'm thinking to myself, well, who the hell needs that sign? The indoorsies, that's who. You see, I read that sign and I'm like, yeah, no shit. They read that sign and it's like, oh. Drive around the mountains in Idaho sometime. Every single corner, they got a sign that says, watch for rocks. Like who the hell isn't watching for rocks? I'll tell you who. Some guy in a 97 Miata wearing a scarf that he got at a cardigan shop in Europe going on his first ever camping trip, that's who. But my favorite warning sign that they're starting to put up in all the national parks, it's got a picture of a guy and he's trying to mount a bull moose, right? And it's got the big red circle around it and it slashed through it as if to say, hey, don't try to mount a bull moose. 
Now, this one got me curious, right? Because I thought to myself, oh my god, how many guys got killed to death trying to mount a bull moose before they decided to put up a sign? 27. It's 27. I, I did the research. I made the phone calls, right? Because here it is. You got three or four guys get killed to death mounting a bull moose. That's just funny, right? You get up to like 14, you put out a pamphlet, like a trifold, hand it out as people come into the park. At 27, they start like, okay, we got a problem here. People are trying to mount a bull moose. We better put up signs. <laughs> The indoorsies are an invasive species. They're dangerous. They're annoying. They're outside, and they do not belong. Now, many of you are going to say, but Hank, shouldn't everyone have an opportunity to get outside and enjoy the great outdoors? Well, no. Look, I'm not going to sit at home in a dark room playing fork knife on the Atari video game machine or watching home renovation shows or some shit about how to bake a cake. They don't need to be out hunting, fishing, camping, and hiking. So what are we to do? How do we solve this problem? I'll tell you how. Build more malls. Put in like three acre food courts where the indoorsies can feed on Orange Julius. Make more episodes of that Bachelor show so they can all have their little parties and drink boxed wine and talk about who the hell's gonna go marry who? Build more Disneyland's is this. Look, indoor people aren't gonna wanna go to the real outdoors if they can go to the pretend outdoors. I mean, why go down to a real river when you can go to a chlorinated lazy river? Or why see an actual grizzly bear when you can cuddle up to a stuffed grizzly bear playing a banjo? Here's how we can all help. We all need to stop posting happy, smiley pictures of everybody having a good time around a campfire. We need more pictures of infected mosquito bites or head-to-toe poison oak rashes. Hash pound, got diarrhea? Hash pound, poison ivy on my balls? Hash pound, I'll never forget the screams of that family being devoured by those carpenter ants. An estimated 500 trillion indoorsies are going outside every single day. 60% of them will be killed to death by lack of common sense. 100% of them won't know how to start a campfire. Is this a future you want for your children? Me neither. For more information, go to, if you go outside, you're gonna get bit in the nuts.com.